we spoke about the lots of different crops that the evolution works on really well um, and one of those is, is apples, apples, pears, um, fruits, that sort of thing, especially apples. Uh, we have a lot of machines running out in the, uh, out in the industry on apples uh, for cider manufacturers, that sort of thing. And we've had some real success with this. Uh, now what's really easy for us with apples is the fact that apples are generally very hard, very round, no square edges on apples. So for us, where we're trying to t extract anything that is misshapen or soft or, or leaf-like, um, we're always very mindful that we're not too aggressive and we can damage the skins of the product. Well, apples are generally getting processed um, and with them, as I say, being hard and smooth, it's very easy to, to set the machine up quite aggressively without any fear of losing the crop. So just looking at the picture we've got in front of us, which is just the start of the, this short video I'm going to show you, um, we've just collected a lot of debris that you might typically find in, a, in an orchard. So, as most uh, apple growers will be aware of, most of the crop is scooped up off the orchard floor and we can find anything in there and, and what we've got is a very typical, possibly excessive amount of debris just to show really what it can do. So we've, we're picking up the occasional stone, we've got some clod in there, we've certainly got a certain amount of leaf and grass and weed. We've even got debris of uh, litter if you like, so we've got some plastic gloves, um, some twigs, anything that's fallen off the um, off the apple trees that obviously comes off from time to time so quite a big a range of big range of what might need to be extracted so how do we set that machine up Th this is generally you can't go wrong we would really always run the clod rollers in reverse for the very best extraction and we'd run a relatively mid-range aggressive spiral roller so our, our again our first choice for that would be would be the six rib 10 millimeter high spiral roller. We can then run a, either a rubber, a mild steel or a stainless steel clod roller in the opposite direction. On this video, it's stainless steel, nothing wrong with that. Um, and we can set everything really quite aggressive. So we can lift those clod rollers up quite high. If we want, we can have a slight gap between the spiral roller and the clod roller. So anything between one millimeters and six millimeters would be absolutely fine. The bigger the gap, the more aggressive it's going to be. So if we've got very, very small apples, maybe you don't want to go too wide on the gap. Maybe bring that in a little bit. Um, and in terms of speed, we won't be running the spiral roller flat out or very fast as we would in muddy potatoes. We'll slow that down. So we're perhaps near a 80 to 100 RPM. And the clod roller, probably start in the middle, 50%, maybe going up to 100% in terms of speed. Um, but as I say, it's very difficult to do a bad job. They really do extract really well. So I'm just going to run this video through. Um, so as you see, it's very, very efficient for taking out the weed and the hook and the grasses. Stones and clods take a little bit longer uh, and will, if not grabbed in the first valley, will move down to the next valley and the subsequent ones. And then as you see, um, really clear and simple what it, what it can take out. Soft clod will be crushed. Green horn will take out, go out quite quickly, or weed. Stones are able to pass through the separating mechanism because of the spiral roller deforming around the stone. So we can take stones out up to 50, 60, even 70 millimetres diameter. It's quite capable of dealing with that sort of debris. So a good overview there. As I say, quite easy to run these in, in, a, in a wet environment or a dry environment. Any clod roller will be fairly effective. We just slow the speed of the spirals down a wee bit and we have a smaller gap just to increase a little bit more of the uh, ability to clean. So uh, good information for you there and hopefully that will see you through to getting the machine set up well. Thank you.